So what is the point of going back to scripture to explain and decode the prophetic words from 2,500 years ago from Ezekiel and Daniel? By doing this, I can show you that everything that's happening today has been already seen and given to prophets to speak about so that the world would know there is a God of all creation who speaks to people, first through the prophets that spoke to Israel and then through Jesus and his disciples and even now through prophets who speak today. And so I'm taking you back into scripture to um, return you to the history of scripture and to give you a sense of its validity as a doctrine, a historical doctrine that has been maintained for generations and at great expense and uh, risk to life has been republished and retranslated time and time again throughout history so that today we can read for ourselves what was said to people who were listening to the voice and the Spirit of God 500 BC about the events that are unfolding today. This gives you faith. It's a means to give you faith and a means to connect you with the creator of all the universe who speaks to people and who has a concern for the well-being of humanity, his creation. We are not some distant uh, entity that's been cut off and abandoned into the throes of history or uh, have sprung from an amoeba through Darwin's theory of natural selection and uh, you know an, an atheistic view of the origins of humanity. There is a creator. He does speak and he's spoken through scripture. And the reason why the Bible is burned and banned and discredited is because it points to and evidences, gives validity to the claims of people's encounters with the Spirit of God.